I'm Jo. And he's Vic. Together, we've been navigating the English canals with our trusty canoe and two narrowboats. One of them is our home, and the other we're turning into a travelling coffee shop on the water. Subscribe and come along for the ride. Wow, that looks so neat. Good morning. That sound you hear is the sound of the engine. Um, because we haven't got enough solar. The last three days have been like super foggy, so there's been no sun coming through. We've got quite a busy day today. Vic's gonna ring around, try and get our boat safety sorted, see if it's kind of possible for just after lockdown or lockdown, kettle's boiling. And we need to have a massive tidy up in zero um, because on this morning we, we have water, but we don't have electric obviously while we're running the engine and we don't have bins or an l sand point. So same as before, we're gonna take it down to the lock. It's raining. And I think that's the morning update. There he is, my knight in shining armor. Slipper. A disgusting sight. Rubbish and L sands. And it's just starting to rain. It seems like whenever we switch on the microphone, um, there's some kind of crazy noise going on. Like before it was the engine, sometimes it's a train going over that bridge. And now it's, um, oh, we're gonna get a cacophony of the two. And now it's this um, towpath, grass cutter hedge trimmer, whatever we call it, that's kicking up a fuss. Why are you so happy today? I don't know really. It's just, uh, I quite like this weather for some reason. <laughs> I was going to say, I bet it's the weather because <laughs> yeah. it's so dark. Yeah, it's like dark and blankety and that is my perfect environment. It feels like you don't really have to bother waking up fully today. Nobody else is going to be fully awake or demand much of you the right level of alertness. Well that's where you are wrong. Because <laughs> have I got a to-do list for you. <laughs> I'll just hover here for a bit. Talking be my all clean, fit to me. Finger all shiny on my baby's diamond ring. I was on a high till I caught on to the scene. Swear I lost my heart when I fell in love with things. There's a real smell of smoke now around. Anywhere where there's a lot of boats, everyone's got their um, chimneys going now. So there's a lot of coal. It smells like coal. It's quite horrible at first. <laughs> Isn't it? It's not as nice as wood. Wood, wood smells like Christmassy. Land. Yeah, like oh, around King's Cross. It's like being in uh, Oliver Twist times or something. Yeah, when you step down to the canal and it's like, boom, a layer of coal smoke. Yeah, sometimes actually it was quite romantic in that like, uh, there's a lot of still like Victorian architecture and stuff and there are, there's tons of boats down in London. Probably everybody who's watching this knows that, but it's like, really overcrowded in the way that it probably was in Victorian times. Yeah. And there's like a layer of, I mean, it's, it's obviously terrible because there's like overcrowding and over pollution, but there's still a romance to that somehow, sometimes in the evenings or something if no one's about and it's all, like we used to move around a lot at night in like the dead of night in London. And it, so it'd be like very quiet and we'd just be sort of gliding past all these boats and stuff like that. It was, then it was nice. Yeah. Anyway, sorry about that. Trip down Ooh. memory lane. 
the nostalgia. <laughs> Missing the action here. Follow the action. <laughs> How was it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's enjoyable. Yeah, well. <laughs> it's really raining now. Okay, let's get you home. <laughs> Vic's on the phone to, I think he's trying to find an engineer for the uh, coffee machine to commission that. That's sort of the general vibe of our work at the moment is just um, ringing people around and chasing stuff up and seeing when people can do things. I think probably since like March, or since we came out of the paint shed, I think a lot of people have been asking us um, when it's going to be ready. And I feel like this year is just, we're just never going to, we're not going to know until like the week before, till we, till we start making um, plans to have an opening weekend. I think we've just got to um, chill out and see when, when I, as soon as we can be open, we will be open. But it's a bit out of our hands this year. Vic and Paul have been cutting wood for trim. It looks good. It's really good, isn't it? Oh, we've got a system now. Have you? Yeah, that seemed like really quick. Yeah. We're just going to have to get more. Are you? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Paul um, offered to help us with the cutting the trim. He's got a table saw. So, we took a few tester bits down there and he set it all up. And uh looks really good. These were the bits that we used to keep the ceiling up. Sentimental. I'm going to have to take these off for them to be cut. This will be beautiful trim at some point. Right, we'll go and cut some more. Okay, okay. We're sawing up all this wood, planing it down to about four mil. It's, it looks really nice, even just straight out of the saw it looks nice. And then I think we've oiled it so far, but maybe we'll have a go at varnishing some of this stuff. And it's, I think it comes up real nice. Yeah, it's lovely and golden. Yeah. For the coffee machine being commissioned. And then we can start making espressos for everyone. 
good having all this. I'm sure, I'm sure it will be on the way back. <laughs> it's that bit <laughs> that's causing all the trouble, that eh? wafer thin bit at the end. I just picked this up from La Post Office, Reaction. brought it home on that, balanced. I didn't actually think that it was that that came, I thought it was a much smaller item, so that's why I didn't go prepared. Yeah. Mr Heron's coming over for a look. Can you see him? Mm. Increasing adapter, single to twin, five inch to five inch. Well, that could come in handy, couldn't it? Uh, I, I think that's the one we don't need. I think I might have to take that back. A length of flu, twin wally. Sweet 15 degree. I don't think we need that one. That might have to go back to. The one I'm really after is this one. <laughs> Adapter to vitreous. So that goes inside or outside of the... Yeah, that goes inside. Inside of an adapter that we've got. Right. That's on its way. That's on its way, hopefully tomorrow. Okay, cool. That's a good haul, isn't it? If that thing comes early tomorrow, we'll be able to just do that, get the flu in tomorrow and then be warm, warm over there. Good morning. It's quite a nice warm day today. Just about to, just on the commute to work. Oh, and here we are. all its glory. So the main agenda for today concerns as always uh, the hearth and the chimney and stuff like that because we, we've got most of the parts for it now all this sort of stuff down here and uh, but we're waiting on one part which is a crucial bit it's the adapter between the actual sort of top of the stove and what is going to be the main chimney flue and also, we've been back and forth about a million times about plans for how that chimney flue is going to exit through the roof. At the moment, we've got this going on. That's what's been on the boat since we've had her anyway. But some past theories have been, oh, we could just put a chimney straight up that, straight through it. It's not as simple as it sounds, basically. We're thinking now we might have to actually cut that whole thing out to make a bigger hole in the roof which I'm obviously slightly reluctant to do that job but it might be something that we have to do so other little projects that I've got sort of just generally on my mind are we've got to get somebody we're trying to get somebody to come out and um, sort of commission the coffee machine so that'll be a momentous occasion when that happens right it's here this is the piece we've been waiting for. How's your cycle? Nice. Are you ready to see if this fits? Yeah. This will then determine if we can do this. It's a fairly sort of innocuous piece, isn't it? That's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Not got as much speed as the box. Never thought we'd be doing this, did we? No. My line 
Mine is a bit wonky, look. Doesn't matter, it's, uh, that's good because it's just on the outside. Yeah. That should give us just that bit of room because that pen's quite thick. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So anywhere within sort of five and 10 mil uh, to the line is great. The more accurate, the better. I like it, it's not too long, like it doesn't take as long as I thought. You can switch your brain off while you're doing the job. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Great. Hey. Hey. We absolutely know this is abuse of drill bits, but um it's a good way of doing it without having to uh without being scared of damaging the paint and having hot bits of steel flying off and embedding themselves into the paintwork and rusting the face off. So, I'll show you what it looks like from the inside. Paul reckons, I keep trying to wiggle it, like surely, surely that should come out now, but apparently it's really strong. This side's pretty much done. If it does move, don't give it too much, or she'll buckle the roof. Right. Oh! No, just do that. Just do that bit. This will all go hard, get hot and snap. Oh, it snapped! Keep hold keep of it. One, Make now. sure you keep hold of it so it doesn't drop. I am, I'm keeping hold of it. Okay. Look what we've been drilling through. Oh, yeah. Look that. So we've got cut through that. Yeah. Mm. Anybody need a chimney cowl? <laughs> <laughs> what you've got to watch is these edges. Don't go and catch your hands on them. What are you up to while all this craziness is going on? Well, I'm taking a more sort of supreme, uh, serene approach to the day. A bit of light varnishing while the sun's shining. Oh, lovely. No more of this drilling through steel malarkey for me. Looks such a nice colour, doesn't it? So I think to find out where we just need to straighten it up, but like measure from there to there. Yeah, there's some What can we use this for? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Alright, here we go.
<laughs> yeah. You got? Are you sure you don't want to light it? Should I? The inaugural fire. I feel like you should do it. It's been your project. <laughs> it looks so clean. There's not ash or anything. Right, you ready? Yeah. First fire on Holly. Yeah, this is cool, isn't it? Sorry if it's really loud. Um, I think that Vic has turned on the... We're testing the immersion eater. So he's plugged in the generator. I think that's what he's doing. Might go find out, but it's gonna be pretty loud. So sorry about this awful audio that you're about to get. I'm just trying to stay away from it. Yeah, we haven't had any hot water on Holly yet, um, but the chlorifier is plumbed in. Um, we just haven't tested to see if it works or anything. Here he is. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. I'm going to point it this way so we don't have that. <laughs> well, I imagine it's what you've just said. All the systems are go in there are now. They? Yeah. So today we went from having no fire and no hot water, you know, no, no hot water and stuff like that on the boat. Now we've got a fully functioning boat. And just to give ourselves another little bonus, we just ran the engine today, which probably we should have done ages ago, just to kind of keep it warmed up and everything. And it started like an absolute charm. Yeah. Great. So basically an excellent day. Yeah. Yeah. So there's the calorifier. This expansion tank is there to accommodate the expansion that heat in the water will incur. But if we step down, I mean, I should have filmed the moment oh, when I turned all this on, but I was quite nervous. We've got a uh, strip like panel, those strips of trim that have been varnishing. We've got them drying on the floor in here at the moment. So, but, yeah, that's the inverter now in uh, battery charger mode. But yeah, and you can see that down there, the switch for the water heater, which is on. So it's great. Everything here is just like working away. Actually, what I'll do is I'll, because I, I've kept meaning to um, show everybody the book that, but that I've basically referenced, oh, yeah, just yeah. like completely referenced it. Like for weeks and weeks, months, really, it was like formed the whole basis of my reading. Like, you know, like even at bedtime. Yeah, it was really boring. Like, yeah, yeah, it was, to it was totally boring. But it's a genius, genius book. It's like really thick and just so comprehensive. And I will put a link to it in the bottom and I'll pick up a shot of it at some point. When we go back in now, I'll get a shot of it. This is the book. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth talking about because it is genius. This is the second copy of it that I bought because we gave the first copy away twice, actually. No, <laughs> because it's just such a good resource. All the stuff about solar panels, like you can become an actual scientist <laughs> and learn totally about what you're doing with this thing. All right, you're getting too into it now. You need to just put it down and go and do all the stuff. Yeah, all right. Like cut your hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to edit this thing is what I actually need to do. 
Oh, someone's calling. Oh, the phone's ringing, that's my mum. <laughs> Is it your mum? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> something magical has happened and we've had the um, engineer down to commission the coffee machine so now we have a working coffee machine um vic's just gone down to let him out of the of the morning but Woo! powerful we're both so scared of it here comes vic business business coffee phone how exciting is that? Yeah. <laughs> it's quite a milestone, isn't it? Yeah, big time. Our major problem now is we don't have the essentials to make coffee. <laughs> yeah, we don't have any caps. We don't have milk. We don't have any milk jugs. <laughs> yeah. We're really going to have to... We're kind of caught unawares now. It's, it's finally, like, caught up with us, in a way. Like, this project, in that now... Well, I wasn't really expecting to have a fully running coffee machine and everything to be basically up and running. Yeah. At this point, but that's the, that's the situation we're in. Should we go and mess about with it? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Seems mad that we've uh, that we own this. I know. The Vix um, set the grinder up and switched that on at the plug. So now we're gonna we've got some coffee beans and we're gonna attempt a first coffee out of this machine. The instructions are all in it Italian. So if I turn it on to one, it's automatic. Luckily, that word. Luckily, the words automatic and manual are actually the same. Yeah. In English as they are in Italian. It's pretty cool doing this. Smells amazing. Yeah, it does. Okay. Grind. Grind. Set up language. Oh. oh no, that's just. I don't know how much of this to put in. Yeah, I think that's enough, and then let's tamp it down. Okay, yeah? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, oh maybe it's too full. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Coffee, anyone? First attempt didn't go... It must be too full. Well. I think 15... It's too much. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. The it's working, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like our sense of timing is always the same, which basically just means we end up shouting nonsense <laughs> <laughs> over each other at times like this. <laughs> the amount of times in the edit, I've been like, oh, I can't use any of that because we both... <laughs> Simultaneously going. <laughs> Pray tell, how does it taste? That is delicious. It's a fine Guatemalan roast. <laughs> well, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we do have something to say. Yeah, I mean, let's, let's, we need let's to be, be real. Twice here. Yeah, <laughs> no. this is from a the cafetier. <laughs> because <It's... laughs> we need to, we need to really rinse out and sterilise that tank and everything first. <laughs> we don't trust the water yet. We cheated, but welcome to TV. <laughs> Nothing's real. Look, look at the gauge. This machine's dead cold. It's been <laughs> off for hours. We've had a nap. We're absolutely knackered. We sort of thought... We were saying if we would, we, like when we'd fantasised about like the moment we'd first turn the coffee machine on when we first started this project, we thought we'd be like, whoa, like, whoa, like you Have a little coffee party. But actually we're just knackered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is good though, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. It is brilliant. But on that note, 
We feel we've come as far as we can. Well, for the moment, I think from now on we're going to be doing some pretty boring stuff and it's going to stretch over a bit of time. Yeah. Um, so we've, we yeah. think this will be our last um, episode of this. We're calling it Series 1. Yeah. Because we'll definitely be back, but um, we're going to have a little break from the videos, get the boat finished and hopefully have something good to show you the next time we see you. Yeah, this is it. Welcome to the finale. The season one finale. <laughs> yeah, but thank you all so much for um, watching this year because it has been so cool to share it with you and so good to have had your support I really and DIY tips. Yeah. Like, it's been great um, and felt it's felt like it's been a real community effort and I don't actually think we would have um, got to this point without it. Yeah. And we won't leave you hanging long. It'll be... Uh... It'll be pretty soon. It'll be, it'll be in January. I think that we'll come back. Yeah. Welcome to the cafe boat. Sounds good. <laughs> this will be the toilet. This will be kitchen area. How long do you think it's going to take us? A week. Max. Today we're moving things around to see what the kitchen would look like. This is what we've settled on. Coffee machine will go above where the fridge is there. That's what we've done today. All the lining out, up. I'm well impressed with what we've done. <laughs> now it's like, what should it actually look like? <laughs> I think we're both starting to get bogged down by like the uphillness of all of this. This has been a bit of a captain frustrated here. Eh? We've definitely had more successes than failures, but I think today it's feeling like there's just one failure after another. Mm. The stainless is here. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Rinse that lettuce. Pretty, pretty <laughs> impressive, no? <laughs> this is good, this is good. That looks better, doesn't it? Ooh. Yeah, because I think that doesn't smell that good. <laughs> because it smells bitter. But it looks incredible. But first coffee. Doesn't yeah. matter if it's not drinkable. <laughs> <laughs> 